my channel welcome back to a brand new video we've got a Primark haul today which is one of your guys favorites I went into the Manchester city centre store recently it is by far the best in my opinion at least around this area anyway I know we have the Trafford Centre it's okay but you've got to go to the big cities to get the good stuff and I feel like they had all of their autumn bits out sneak peeks of some Christmas things I managed to pick uh, quite a few like faffy bits, i.e. accessories, home deck, all that kind of thing. And then also some fashion finds, which I have been loving. There are some good finds, including this jumper, which I feel like is going to be my jumper, my go-to jumper for autumn, winter. It's nice and thick and cosy. It contains wool as well, but it's not itchy. Like I've not got a layer on underneath this, but I feel like in winter when it gets really cold, you can just layer up. Um, but yeah, it's this beautiful kind of, I want to say like a mushroom brown colour and like a grey kind of brown and I just love it. I love the thickness of it. I love the quality, the colour, everything. It's giving autumn vibes. I may have picked it up in another, in another colour. I'll show you all the fashion bits after I've, I have show you the kind of like accessories and knickknacks and home bits first. But just to make sure you are set and ready for this video, pause it, go grab a drink if you haven't already, grab some snacks, put your feet up like the candles, and let's get in to the Primark call. I'm gonna delve straight on in and start with some cozy socks. I saw, I saw these last time I went in and I thought, no, it's too early. And then this time I thought, you know what, let's just, let's just go full blown winter. Let's skip autumn and go straight to winter with these. They are two pairs of thermal socks, again, with wool, and these are £4.50 for the pack of two. They've got the kind of like Fair Isle Christmassy print, but in neutral colours. I also got these um, pack of socks, these two pairs of slouchy, cosy socks, they call them. They're nice and soft, but they're not like thick and, you know, they're thick, cosy socks, which, let me just say used to be amazing but now all the fluff kind of like peels off so be careful getting those especially if you get them in like a bright red because you'll be walking around the house and seeing little bits of red on your carpet thinking where is that coming from it's the Primark cozy socks but anyway these ones are lovely and they come in a two pack of like a grey mal and a cream and these ones also are £4.50 I've got this bag I never get bags from Primark I'm just I'm a creature of habit when it comes to my bags. I just like my, my designer ones. I get the cost per wear <laughs> out of them because that's all I ever wear. I've got like a black one from Chanel. I've got the nude one from YSL. I've got a straw bag from Chloe and then that's about it. And then I've got a bigger tote one from Chloe. But these bags that I keep seeing everywhere, like crossbody bags from either Lululemon or Uniqlo. I know they're the two common ones that people tend to get. This is obviously a dupe for those. And I just feel like, let's see if I can loosen it a bit because it's looking a little snug. But yeah, oh, it loosens quite a lot actually. You could do it tighter than this. But I feel like it's one of those bags that is perfect for, especially someone like me who has a dog that maybe just needs to have a bag for, for like poo bags and phone and keys and whatever you need in there. And it's on your body so you can be hands free. They had them in several colours, but I went for this kind of like khaki olive colour. Again, I thought it'd be quite fitting for autumn. Favourite season of the year, which is fast approaching, guys. Have I just pulled the tab off? Seven pounds that one was. And yeah, nice material straps, so nice and comfy. Yeah, a little dupe for the old crossbody bags that everyone seems to be wearing. I also stocked up on some bubbles, just a pack of different kind of neutral colored bubbles at two pounds. Just to go in my kitchen drawers, I've just picked up these napkins for like, if we're hosting around autumn time, I just think it'd be nice. I always like to, we're hosting more and more now that we've got a kitchen space that we've renovated. It's nice to be able to have people over to ours. And we love like 
bits you know like a picky lunch or even dinner whereby we've got a few bits out or sweet treats afterwards i always like to put out these like paper napkins yeah one pound fifty for these then i got a couple of new scents that they do in these what do they call them scented room sachets i like to put these in smaller spaces i feel like if you put them in a big room they don't smell very well um, but if you pop these like within a wardrobe or a downstairs toilet or a small bathroom, then you can smell them. They don't last the longest, but they're only £1.30 each. They've gone up. They used to be 90p, but we'll let that slide with, you know, inflation and all that. Um, veteran oak moss, I thought sounded lovely. And how nice is that illustration? Or well, not illustration, but like photo for autumn trees on the front. And then this one cedarwood and vanilla they had some candles in this scent as well with this kind of like autumn pattern and print on the candles as well i think this is one of my favorite purchases i made both fashion and homeware oh, i just think it's stunning i love a good home decor piece that is seasonal and this is exactly that it's not too like halloweeny obviously it's just nice and neutral essentially a maple leaf or an autumn is it is it maple leaf or just some kind of leaf and it was six pounds this bowl kind of looks like it would be like from zara home or something with the age rather than it just being like stark white i'm pretty sure i bought this last year but i can't find it anywhere or there's yet to be an autumn decor box that i've yet to come across in fact yeah because i've not found my white company felt pumpkins yet they've got to be somewhere it might be mixed in with the christmas decor but anyway um this is it's like an olive pumpkin i might have even just thought about buying it last year but it's only four pounds a little ceramic pumpkin now that we've done the kitchen this is kind of the color of our like downstairs loo our island is green so we've got green accents in there but i prefer the kind of earthy greens like this one so yeah love that it's like christmas oh yeah lovely i forgot i got this so this is a candle it's actually very similar to a jar that i picked up from matalan that is just a jar lidded pumpkin jar in this color but this one's got candle in it so i would recommend going for the primark one because once it's burnt out you can just reuse it as a storage pot but yeah autumn leaves is the scent of the season in primark they've got this scent in several different things so i decided to pick up this candle it's a two wick oh when you start smelling autumn candles there's nothing quite like it as much as i love i'm just looking at it over there my amalfi lemon from the white company i just feel like because candle season really is the warmer months the cozy months that's why i just like these scents so much but yeah autumn leaves this candle was six pounds okay the last item in this bag before i move on to the fashion find and again this is something from the autumn range this is something that i'd spotted on their socials and it actually was one of the main things that i ran out to store to try and find this and the leaf bowl i was like i need to get those I need to get them they're kind of from the same collection as well they've got the same color um crockery it's like a creamy grayish color with the kind of rustic warmer tones on the edges and yeah a little pumpkin serve dish six pounds this one was and yeah i love it they do have if you want to go all out they do have that crockery range in like non-seasonal things so um they do them in scalloped edged or normal but they do like bowls plates mugs and yeah stuck with those two for now but yeah let's move on to some more fashion finds i'll show you the other color of this jumper first that I got. Okay, this is the other color that I picked up in that exact same jumper. So again, at just 17 pounds, I think this is great value for money. It is a color that I'm not 100% sure on whether or not it kind of like washes me out a little bit. Hmm, let me know what you think. I might keep the other one and send this one back. But I just love the fit of it and the feel of it. This is only a small, by the way, because I know I tend to size up for like an oversized fit, but I would say these come pretty much oversized already. Like if I wore leggings with this jumper, it's well below my bum. So it's so a bit shorter at the front, but um, you can easily just tuck it in if you want to wear it with jeans like so. But yeah, I'm not 100%, I'm just looking at the mirror behind you guys. I'm not 100% on this color for me. If it was more of a cream, maybe, but it is really nice. 
I don't know, I don't know. I do love the other one though. The color of the other one, perfect. This next top that I've got, um, again, just a simply paired with jeans just to show you exactly what the top is. It's this beautiful, like, kind of light knit. I love how long the sleeves are. They kind of come down your wrists, which I love. Um, lightweight knit, the color is what sold it to me. This color for autumn, perfect. I love this kind of olive green. Good little staple, eight pounds. This one I did size up to in a large. They looked quite small, I think because of the type of knit and I don't like anything too tight along my arms. So I decided to size up to a large. I think it would be fine in a medium or even a small anyway, because it's nice and stretchy, but it is quite cropped as well. So this literally just, just sits on the top of my jeans. So I kind of just slightly tuck it in. But yeah, eight pound little basic, gorgeous color. Really happy with this one. Now with this next item, I have a bit of a confession. I bought last year one of the trenches from the Primark Edit range, which is their kind of elevated range, slightly more luxe, as you can see a slightly higher price tag as well. But I bought this last year, at least one similar, and I returned it because I thought I don't need it. And then I really regretted doing that. And then ever since couldn't find my size to repurchase it. And I shouldn't have taken it back. I think because of this job, I get into the habit of buying a load of clothes, showing you how they fit, how I style them, how they look on me, and then just taking back things that I don't need. Actually, you know what? A good staple trench in a wardrobe is a perfect capsule piece that I am lacking, honestly. So this, I repurchased, I will be keeping this time, 45 pounds. I got it in a size 12 because then it will last me through into winter if I want to layer it with like hoodies as well. Because typically I'm like a UK 10, I would say. It's a nice standard fit, standard trench. There's nothing too like unique about it, which honestly is what I wanted. I didn't want any like specific like extra cuts, designs that make it a bit more trend led. I just wanted a good old classic trench. I have just tied it in a knot, but obviously if you were to tie the belt properly, it's got like a little tortoiseshell buckle that matches the buttons. I love nothing more than a good basic. Again, like I mentioned with the trench, just having a capsule piece that you can mix and match is I think a great investment into your wardrobe. And these basics, I thought had potential to be really good because they're like the classic H&M ones that I love wearing. They're kind of racist style, which I feel like is quite a flattering cut and a good basic to have. But then a lot of people I know ask me what bra do you use? Like this struggle with like finding a bra where you can't see the straps. This has a built-in bra within it. So as you can tell by the label, I'll show you the black one. Built-in bra in a size small this one. This one's a medium. There's not that much in it. I just feel like the neck on this one is tighter. 10 pounds they are. So again, they're not cheap. That's what it looks like on the inside. You've got like a built-in bra that isn't underwired. It's just like an additional kind of like just the padding. You know, like what you would get removable cups in a top, except these aren't removable. I would just say personally for me, I'm like a 34C. They're too, the cups are too big for my boobs. So I don't really fill them out. And I feel like even the small, it just makes me look, it makes me look different and I don't like that. So these had the potential, but unfortunately I'm gonna return them. Another staple classic piece, this kind of like cotton jersey, long sleeve top, which is just simply long sleeve top comes to there. I probably would just again tuck this into jeans, use as a layering piece in winter. It's from the Primark edit range. So it's made from a fabric that just feels slightly more luxe, a bit weightier, feels better quality. It's in a small, which was 10 to 12. And this was in the sale. So it was reduced from 14 pounds full price, which again, 14 pounds for a long sleeve top from Primark is steep, but the Primark edit range is worth it. 14 pounds, but it was half price. So I got it for just seven. Okay, so this is actually like a beach cover up dress. It takes me back to when we went to Morocco. I feel like I could walk around the supermarkets in this. Mind you, maybe not actually, because it is a bit gapy. It is this like gap here on the side of the sleeves makes it feel more beach wear. It's kind of like a striped fabric, if you can see there if I come in a bit closer, and kind of like a linen-y. It's got a little slit on the bottom at the back, but apart from that, it's just plain and simple. Lovely little beach cover up. It was 20 pounds, kind of pricey, and it is still full price. So 
yeah i don't know if i've bought this a bit out of season why well, i definitely have okay the material and color of this is giving skims that's what i thought when i picked it up anyway um it is a dress and it's got this like tie waist bit here on at the side which kind of allows you to cinch in a little bit i've got a small in this one and it's kind of like midi length so yeah i was thinking this will transition quite nicely into autumn to be able to like pair with like chunky boots leather jacket that kind of look um but yeah other than that i just quite like the material a bit it is again from the primark edit range this one so it feels really really nice quality it was 20 pounds this dress i love love the quality love the fit and feel of it and yeah i think it's really nice I do have one other dress, which I'll try on next, which is a bit more of a slinky, satiny number. I'm not probably tanned as much as I'd like to be wearing this next dress, but let's try it on anyway. So this dress is a beautiful color. It's like a champagne kind of color. Definitely needs a bit of a steam, so we'll just ignore that for now, because to be honest with you, I think I might actually take this one back. I just don't know if it's the most flattering on me. It's a really pretty kind of neckline, back detail. It's a very, very slinky. And I think that's what's making me feel a little bit uncomfortable. But I did also think, rather than even just as a dress, maybe like just keep as a dress for holiday, but then throw on a chunky knit like the one that I wore at the start of this video, and it looks more like a satin midi skirt. It was in the sale, so it's a good price as well. It's from that Paula someone range i'm not sure who she is but 15 pounds full price this one is in a size 12 but it was reduced in the sale down to nine it's got adjustable straps as well so you can make it a bit tighter and a bit shorter if you wanted to this cut as well here reminds me of the zara dresses slap, like the slap slip addresses that they did um but yeah it's okay i just don't know if i'm going to take this back or not okay these next two items two two items um i uh, yeah i think they're gonna have to be returned as well i i do quite like the top actually i just feel like it's very very thin and it's not sheer it's just like a thin knit so i feel i wouldn't feel comfortable going braless so you can obviously see the straps and it does come quite low there and i just i don't know it was only three quid it was a bargain but i just don't know if it i don't know if i'd wear it this is how long it is untucked and then these bottoms they had potential and they actually had, they're like a kind of crinkly um, Zara dupe fabric that I do love. But let me tell you why I'm taking these back for a couple of reasons. These are a size 10. This is a 10 as well, by the way. And they, as you can probably tell, they're tight here, but then they're floaty along the bottom and baggy around here. And this is a fake drawstring, so I can't cinch it in any tighter than it is. So if I could, I would have potentially sized up to like a 14, so they were definitely not tight around my thighs, and then cinched in the waist, but I can't do that. They're also a little bit too short for me. It also had a matching shirt, which I didn't realise until I got to the checkout, and I saw a girl with just the shirt, and I thought, oh, I've been queuing for like half an hour. Could I just go and get that shirt, or should I just leave it? I thought, you know what, let me just leave it. And I'm glad I did because I feel like, although the shirt might be nice on its own, but um, yeah, I found these trousers just like literally hung up and couldn't see where they were. So I thought they might have been like a one-off. But anyway, they're going to go back because they just don't fit, essentially. And they are quite thin. This one's now fed up and given up on me. He's like, come on, take me for a W-A-L-K. Although he has been out today, actually. I think he just wants a bit of attention. To be honest with you. Is that what you want? <laughs> He's so cute. Anyway, that is going to go ahead and conclude my Primark haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know if you spotted anything that you particularly liked. And I'm going to run out, head to store, and see if you can pick it up yourself. Uh, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys. 